Hey, Jeff here from Easy Language Mastery, the website dedicated to helping you master easy language so you can become a profitable trader. So learning the computer language and programming, why is this so important? Well, let's imagine here. Let's say we have a new indicator. We found this in a magazine, okay? So it's John Eller's Ligure RSI, and I hope I'm not butchering that. So it's a cool little indicator, and it comes with this, you know, I saw this somewhere, and wow, look at this nifty little graph here. It shows you where the buys are, shows you where the sells are, and <clears throat> I see this and I say, well, of course, they're going to pick the best looking graph, and these all look great. So I'm not going to believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> what do I do? How do I know this works? Well, let's build a simple strategy to test this indicator. So the RSI signals are quite simple. Eller provided the formula. Not going to get into the formula, what else, the RSI calculation is. But the bottom line is, if the value, the Ligure RSI is less than 0.1, we're going to buy. And when it's greater than 0.9, we're going to sell. So um, I put it in an indicator. And we can see down here, OK, the Ligure RSI is in the lower pane. And in the upper pane, we have the ES on the daily. And you can see on that blue arrow I just put up that that's a buy signal. When the Ligure RSI falls below that little green line, that 0.1, we're going to go long. When it climbs and passes above that red line, we're going to close it, close that long. Then you can see that uh, we have another one there and another one there. And you can see in above, in the price chart, we have our buys and sells. So I coded this up in easy language, it took me a few minutes, and was able to run it. So the easy language code looked something like this. Again, it's it's not much. It took me a little bit to code up, particularly because uh, um, Ellers was kind enough to provide the easy language code for the indicator. And then I could build a strategy out of it. So what do you think this does on the gold futures market? You think it's garbage? Don't know. Let's find out. Hmm, that's not bad. That's the equity curve. And again, we're just taking the raw signals, right, from the Ligure RSI. Buy, sell, buy, sell. No filters or anything. Well, let's go to the euro. Maybe you trade the euro. What do you think this does on euro? It's very different than the gold market. Hmm. I think that looks even a little bit better. NASDAQ, what do you think? Wow. <laughs> That looks fake almost. <laughs> There's no stops in this either, so we're not sure on the drawdown or if you put stops in. But just the raw signals seem to be doing okay. And of course, right, the index futures, long side bias anyway. But that looks pretty good. So my conclusion is this indicator has merit. Po it's very possible to build um, a viable trading system with this indicator, in my opinion. And so where do you get started? in algorithmic trading. Well, I personally use easy language. Now that's a computer language for traders and it's a great place to start in my opinion. Now I wrote this ebook specifically to help people get started using easy language and it also comes with four training videos on getting started. So if you want to learn to become an algorithmic trader, download those four videos, get your free ebook and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. We're all about helping you become a successful algorithmic trader. And that's all I have for you now. Until next time. Thanks.